People ask me all the time, Brie, how do you get over imposter syndrome and when does it go away? And I'm gonna be honest, I still get imposter syndrome after seven and a half, almost eight years in this industry, and it has changed and manifested itself in different ways. But here's the thing, as my good friend Lawrence Decode says himself, a lot of times when you start to feel anxious or maybe you feel imposter syndrome, it's because your body and your mind recognize that what you're doing is something that's important and what you're doing is something that you wanna be successful at. So it's natural for your body to be a little bit anxious because you're going into something that you wanna make a good impact and a good impression with. So it's not about asking the why questions, why me, are you sure? It's more about asking the what questions. What impact can I make? What can I get out of this experience? How can I prepare to make sure that I'm getting the most out of this experience and what can I learn? Because it's fine to have imposter syndrome, it's totally normal and it's okay to be scared, but just don't let imposter syndrome stop you from being great.